Hello ladies and you know who. By the way, um, my fake tan is peeling off. So I don't know if you can see it in this lighting, but if you can, it's peeling off and it looks gross. Also, I'm filming right by my window, so if the cars are really loud, I apologize. I'm trialing out this location because the lighting's good. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about why a manifestation is not coming true. I've talked about this in my other videos. In fact, I always touch on it whenever I talk on manifestation, but not everyone watches the video to the end. So, to put it simply, your manifestation is not coming true because you are not letting it go and living in the end. These two terms, they're literally the exact same thing. If you're, hair in my finger, if you're letting it go, you're pretty much living in the end, right? Because if you are in the end, why would you be thinking, I do not have this thing? You already have it. So you have to act as if you already have it. Also, I've been really into Law of Assumption lately, and Law of Assumption really focuses on something called your self-concept, and that is basically how you see yourself. So you can see yourself as, I'm a master manifester, everything, attracts to me like a magnet. I'm an abundance magnet, whatever. What I'm trying to get at here is you might need to alter your self-concept a little bit to manifest faster. Also, I never ever put a time frame on, on something. So depending on what you're manifesting, you might need to tweak it a little bit. For example, I'm not really one to manifest objects. I manifest things like, what do I manifest? SP, <laughs> we're not doing that right now though. But you know, I've done that in the past. Um, so a specific person and money, abundance, I've done that a lot. Money is something that always flows to me and it always has because I have this belief, this program in my mind that says I am an abundance magnet and money is always coming my way. So I've never ever had an issue with that. I always had that belief money is coming to me. Now, when does my manifestation stop and money stops coming to me? It is literally when I start to act as if money is scarce in the world. Like I might choose a cheaper item on the menu because I'm like, I need to save like a little bit of money even though that, that little bit is insignificant. But I start to have that scarcity mindset. And as soon as I start spending a little bit more freely, guess what, the money comes to me. It comes to me. Now I'm not saying go and carelessly spend. I'm saying it is all about your mindset. So when I was spending, I'm saying I'm abundant. It doesn't matter if I buy this because money is always coming to me. So that's an example with money. Now, if it's love, you have a crush and they're not liking you, what is your self-concept? If your self, is your self-concept, I am unlovable, I manifest nothing, blah, blah, blah. They like somebody else, it's not gonna manifest. If your self-concept is everybody loves me, I'm a magnet, I'm a prize, then those people will be drawn to you. So what I'm trying to show you is that there is like, like a different method for whatever you're manifesting. In my comments, a lot of people have been manifesting really weird things, things I would not manifest. Like, I think there is a lot of young people in my comments. There was, I think, like an eight-year-old and she was trying to manifest a green highlighter and she's like, it's not manifesting. And I'm like, I really, I don't even know what to do about that. But don't forget that manifestations, like an object, they do come through people. So essentially, we are manifesting those people into our life to bring us those specific objects, right? Work on your self-concept. Two, you need to figure out how to control your mind. I talk about this all the time. I think I'm going to film another video on this next. But you need to meditate. Meditation is so underrated. Whenever I feel like shit, I know that I'm going to be okay because I'm like, I don't even have control of my mind at the moment. Once I meditate, I'm going to be okay. Once I keep meditating and I build it up, I'm going to be even better. So, meditation, you learn how to control your brain. Three, live in the end. What is your self-concept? Live in the end. Do you have it already? Act like the person who has it already. More than that, if you're manifesting something quite grand, like a whole new lifestyle, a whole new career, a whole new person, you need to not be in that lack mindset. You need to act like you have it already. Live in the end, let it go and know what happens. Someone said to me lately, they were like, if you knew that in three years you would have everything you could have dreamt of, would you be worrying right now? The answer is no, I'd be freaking chilling. <laughs> so live in the end, okay? And if you are worrying, like my manifestation isn't here, like you're looking for signs everywhere, I've been doing a 369 method, it's not here, like you need to chill. You need to sort something out because manifestation works and if it's not working for you, well, you're shit at manifesting. And don't expect it to happen really, my computer. Don't expect it to happen instantly. 
The people, I really think like the only people who can manifest instantly are like monks because they have complete and entire control of their brain. Now, the more you know about manifestation, not just like law of attraction, law of assumption, but parallel realities, quantum physics, whatever, the more you know about how to create this reality and how little it relies on techniques. Techniques are simply like a means to get you into that mindset, but it's not meant to actually bring you the thing. It's meant to get you into that mindset. So you're doing a 369, you're not believing anything, you're not actually feeling it, it's not gonna come, sweetie, okay? Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment, I read all the comments, I love you, I really hope the cars weren't too loud. Let me know if the cars bother you and I will film with my other camera that has a mic. Okay, I love you. Roman, Roman, vacación. Abruja, 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 abruja. Mi abra madrina dijo que sí. Este de aquí me hizo llorar. Este otro me dice marica. Este otro de mí piensa mal. Esto es lo que hago cuando me chingan. Voy a encerrarlos bajo la tierra, tierra. Nadie va a comer y de hambre morirán. Madre, quiero saber. En verdad quién soy yo Y si, sí, tal vez tengo un síndrome Que alguien traiga mis pelucas verdes Tenme 